We're here tonight to follow a blade convoy from Galway Port to Darrenock Wind Farm. So the process of component delivery actually starts at our pre-planning stage. So our engineering and planning teams would actually look at the deliveries as part of their site selection process. So they need to basically assess whether we can actually get components to where we're planning for the wind farm to be. So for Darrenock Wind Farm, they've selected both ports, Foynes and Galway. From Foynes, we're delivering our towers, nacelles, hubs and powertrains. And from Galway, then we're delivering our blades, as you'll see tonight. So our components first arrived in Ireland in early March of this year. The Blade Convoy is going to leave Galway Port tonight at midnight and it will travel east along the M6 and then will exit the motorway at Junction 5 Kilbegan. It will then travel south around Tullamore, around the Tullamore Bypass. So any of the locals around Tullamore would have seen all of the route modifications over the last while through all of the roundabouts and that was for our turbine components. It will then travel through the village of Kilcormac and make its way south onto the N62 and eventually then into sight between 3 and 4 o'clock in the morning. So the blades are 75 metres long and in total they'll make up a rotor diameter of 150 metres and they'll actually be the longest blades in Ireland so far. The biggest challenges of delivering blades of this size is basically the actual geometry. People would think it's probably the weight but the blades are actually only 20 tonne in weight so it's actually just the geometry. They're 75 metres long. It's the pinch points along the route and trying to get them round every junction, every bend in the road and I suppose navigating their way to site. 